If you want to apply the Gauss-Jordan elimination in order to solve a system of linear equations, we need to write down this in matrix form. For example, for this system, the matrix form is going to be 2, 3, 1, 2, multiplied to the x1 and x2 is equal to 1 and 3. So in general, the any system of linear equations is can be written as ax is equal to the b, where we are interested to find such a vector x which would satisfy this equation. So in order to solve this, first of all, we need to create the augmented matrix where we need to combine the matrix A with the vector B. Basically, we put the matrix A and B into one matrix. We call this matrix as augmented matrix, and we would like to bring this to the reduced row echelon form by applying the elementary row operations. So the first thing which I see from here that I, I need to make this element, which is here, to be equal to the one, and the easiest way would be to just flip the first row with the second one. So the first row operation would be to interchange the row one with the row two, and the matrix becomes to this form. So now, since I choose this element as a pivot, or the leading one, I need to make all the elements below the pivots to be equal to the zero first of all. So in order to do this, I need to multiply one to the minus t, so that when I add this to the t, this t becomes zero. So what I will do, what I would like to do is I would like to multiply all the elements on the first row to the minus t, and add this to the second. So please note that since I'm adding something to the second row, only the second row is going to change. And I keep the first row unchanged. 1, 2, 3. So it becomes 0. Here, 2 multiplied to the minus 2 plus 3 is going to be minus 1. 3 multiplied to the minus 2 minus 6 plus 1 is going to be minus 5. So nextly, I need to go to the second row, and I need to choose the first element, which is going to be first non-zero element, which is going to be minus one, and I have to make this to be equal to the one. So in order to do this, we simply need to multiply the second row to the minus one, and it becomes zero, one, and five. Now this matrix is in the row echelon form. In order to bring this to the reduced row echelon form, I need to choose the columns where we have the pivots. So basically the first column and the second column have the pivots. And for both of these columns, so it should have only ones, only the pivots and all the other elements should be equal to the zero. Basically, I need to get rid of this T. In order to do this, I need to multiply this one on the second row to the minus T and add this to the first row. Basically, what we need to do is we need to multiply the second row now to the minus t and add this to the first one. And please note that when we do this operation, the second row is not going to be changed. So we need to write this 1. So 1 multiplied to the minus t plus t, it's going to be 0. 5 multiplied to the minus t plus 3, it's going to be minus 7. So the last column of this reduced row echelon form is going to tell me what is this vector x. So x vector is going to be equal to the minus 7 and 5. From here we can find a solution for the system that x1 is equal to the minus 7 and x2 is equal to the 5. So in general, so if we are given many system of linear equations, for example, let's say I'm given a system of linear equations, Ax is equal to the B1, where A is some matrix and B1 is some vector, which is all, which are already given, and we're interested to find this unknown vector X. So let's say we're given another system with the same coefficient matrix A, and but with a different right-hand side vector B, b2 and so on ax is equal to the bk so basically i'm given k system of linear equations which are different only for the right hand side parts and instead of doing the k times gauss jordan elimination what we can do is we can create the mega augmented matrix or we need to put the a matrix once and just after this we need to put the b1 b2 and so on all the right hand side parts bk and then we need to apply the gauss jordan elimination only once in order to bring this to the reduced row echelon form. And the last k columns are going to tell me the k solutions of this system of linear equations. So let's do an example. So let's say we are given this two system of linear equations. So first of all, let me write them 
in a matrix form. So the first system is going to be written as 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 3, 1, 0, 8, multiplied to the vector x1, x2, x3 is equal to 4, 5, and 9. And a second system can be written in a matrix form in a similar way. Multiplied to y1, y2, y3 is equal to 1, 6, and minus 6. So in general form, I can write down the system as Ax is equal to the B1. And this one is as Ax is equal to the B2, right? In in both of the cases, the coefficient matrices are going to be the same. I need to find some unknown vectors, x here and here. And the only difference is just the right inside vector b. So in this case, it is going to be this vector. In this case, it is going to be a different vector. So you know, it appears in order to solve this boss of the systems, at the same time, we need to create a huge matrix. It is going to be a. Then just after this, we need to put the b1, then b2. Then we need to apply the Gauss-Jordan elimination in order to bring this matrix to the reduced row echelon form. So let me copy the A matrix first of all. Now we need to copy the B. It is going to be 4, 5, and 9. 1, 6, and minus 6. So now I will start from the first row. I will choose this element as a pivot and I need to eliminate all the elements below the pivot. So this two should be equal to the zero and this one should be equal to the zero. So let's make this two to be equal to the zero. In order to do this, we need to multiply the first row to the minus two and add this to the second. Since I, if I multiply this one to the minus two and if I add this to this two, this two is going to be disappear. So that is why I'm doing this operation. So I will keep the first row unchanged. It is going to be one, two, three, four, one. The second row is going to be zero here. So minus two multiplied is a two plus five. It's going to be one minus three minus three and 4. So I can eliminate this one at the same time since this operation does not change the third row, didn't change the third row. I can eliminate this one at the same time by multiplying the first row to the minus 1 and by adding this to the third one we're going to eliminate this one, right? So if I just multiply the 1, the pivot on the first row to the minus 1 and add this to here, so this one is going to be disappeared. So let me do this. It is going to be 0, minus 2, 5, 5, and minus 7. So now we need to go to the second row, and I'm going to choose this element as a pivot, right? And the Gauss step is tells me that if I choose one of the elements as a pivot, all the elements below the pivot should be equal to the zero. So I need to eliminate this minus two. In order to do this, we need to multiply the second row to the two and add this to the third one. So let's do this. Please note that since I'm adding something to the third row, only the third row is going to be changed. The first and second rows are going to be unchanged. So let's do this operation with the third row. It is going to be 0, 0, say so minus 3 multiplied to the 2 plus 5, it's going to be minus 1, minus 1. 4 multiplied to the 2, which is going to be 8, minus 7, it's going to be 1. So now this is going to be also a pivot. This is the pivot. And in order to make this one as a leading one, I need to multiply the third row to the minus 1. So that now it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 0, 1, minus 3, minus 3, 4, 0, 0, 1, 1, minus 1. So now this matrix becomes in the row echelon form. In order to make this in the reduced row echelon form, I need to choose the columns which have the pivots. So that's, that's basically this column have a pivot, this column have a pivot, and this column have a pivot. And as as the first column, so the column should have 
all need is one on the on the pivot position and zero is everywhere else so basically for the second column i need to get rid of this two so this should be zero and for the third column this minus three and and three should be zero so that the matrix becomes in the reduced Rochelon form so that it tells me what is the solution for all the system of linear equations at the same Time. So let's we start doing the operations from the third row. So if I multiply this 1 to this 3, and if I add this to this minus 3, and this minus 3 disappears. So that is why we need to multiply the third row now to this 3 and add this to the second. So please note that I'm not going to change the third row when I, while I'm doing this operation. 0, 1, 0, 0 zero zero and minus one multiplied to the three plus four is going to be one now in order to eliminate this three on the first row we need to multiply the one on the third row to the minus three and add this to the first one so that is why my operation is going to be minus three or three plus or one and now the first row is going to be one two zero one so this one multiplied to the minus three plus four is going to be one this one minus one multiplied to the minus three is going to be plus three plus this one is going to be four now. So the only thing which we need to eliminate now is this two. In order to do this, we're going to use this pivot on the second row. Basically, we need to multiply the second row to the minus two and add this to the first one in order to get rid of this two. So while doing this operation, we're not going to change the third row and the second row. So if I multiply everything on the second row to the minus t and add this to the first one, we'll get 1, 0, 0, 1, and 2. So the last two columns are going to tell me what is the solution for the first system of linear equations and the second system of linear equations. Basically, x1, x2, x3, it's going to be equal to this column. It's going to be 1, 0, and 1. And at the same time, y1, y2, and y3 is going to be equal to this column. There's going to be 2, 1, and minus 1. 